In the last video segment, I was explaining how these capos were Nazi guards who were Jews, and uh, they were a specialized labor force, and how they could inflict cruelty to the degree that it could result in uh, death. This is a concept of uh, a specialized labor force that is not uncommon uh, to organization success. Uh, the United States did that when we had uh, gone after the American Indians. We had uh, renegade Indians who would dress in uh, U.S. Army outfits and meet with the Indian leaders to coerce them into uh, submission of their land. So it's a specialized labor force. And, and uh, when I came across a specialized labor force and what I found to be a systemic group acting hatefully as I suffered a physical abuse that uh, was a result of, of this uh, systemic uh, power abuse, because I believe this escalation to this beating was uh, this beating that I, uh, allegations of this beating that, that I endured, and incidentally there was a videotape, of course they lost it, but um, I believe it could have never happened had I not experienced, uh, we pan up here, the same sort of escalation of horseshit that the Nazis did from the Nuremberg Laws to the subjugation of Jews and speaking badly and, and, and verbal abuse to uh, physical abuse, mob mentality, uh, all the way to uh, uh, treating priests with, uh, without any human dignity and ultimately coming in here for the beating that I uh, have allegations of. And uh, this, as I had mentioned, I must make clear, I believe would have never happened had uh, this thing, uh, had, the, had pre the, the preceding events not happened to me, which were uh, basically lying, cheating, stealing, and ultimately beating. And then we can come down close to me. So, what we're talking about here is uh, basic incivility and unkindness. This are, these are the things that, 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 that Western civilization is based on. Well, nice star, Western civilization. Western civilization is based on time for a joke. Okay, Mahatma Gandhi is in New York City, and uh, he's asked by a reporter, uh, Mr. Gandhi, what do you think of Western civilization? To which Gandhi replies, I think it would be a good idea. Uh, pointing out how, how fundamentally Western civilization is not all that civilized. So, in that regard, we have a basic... Now I went to the Colorado College, and uh, uh, have taught classes at the Air Force Academy, flown planes there, and been a visiting artist and, and instructor. Both of those fine institutions have something we call an honor code. Um, at the Colorado College, we sign our papers. We signed our papers with that uh, we haven't given or received to help uh, unfairly. So you have a sense of integrity and honor. At the Air Force Academy, they spell it out. And, uh, you know, that's the military. And, and, and I tried to be a military pilot. I was a decent enough pilot. I've flown, I've flown a lot of great planes. But once again, the whole problem with the military pilot was I didn't respond well to militarism. For example, I was uh, flying with an instructor and uh, I uh, got a little confused in the plane. He said, what the hell are you doing, Thor Wilson? And I said, I said, give me a minute, I'm, I'm a little confused. He said, this is a hell of a place to be confused. Well, that's kind of funny, but uh, you know, that's how the military operates. However, they have a, a code of conduct, and at the Air Force Academy, their code of conduct is spelled out blatantly, is plain English, uh, we will not tolerate lying, cheating, or stealing. Those are fundamental tenets. And uh, I have experienced in my uh, escalation, just like the Nazis here, well, cheating them out of their rights. Two-tiered system. Cheating. Lying, saying anything the hell they want. And then, and then stealing property. This, uh, they burned their synagogues down and they stole their property. So I experienced, close still shot on me, that uh, I uh, s s sucked up some of this bullshit. Myself, and, and that's what the Jews did because they couldn't fight the system. Well, I sucked it up, uh, being acquiescent, and I gave up uh, a European trip that I had won. That was theft, and uh, I feel it was the allegation, lying. Have email evidence of things that were said of me that were simply untrue, flatly false, lying theft, cheating, 
lying, cheating, stealing. So we've covered those. Next is the beating. Had I not endured those first three fundamental wrongs, I believe there's no way that this would have happened. Now, just like the Nazis, where everybody's in on this act with this crystal moth crap, the group that I have, have, have allegations against, I believe they were all in on it. And uh, when I say that, I mean they were in cahoots working systematically together. And uh, I'm in the elevator and an administrator is there, turns a blind eye while I'm pleading uh, for, mercy, for mercy. Don't go there, stop. They lose, the, they lose the, the, the video of it, of course. Anyway, it's an assault allegation. But uh, it's a degree of negligence that, that, that is the result of this system of escalation. And uh, I believe this particular group was as skilled at it because it was their fundamental um, worldview or way of doing business, just like the Nazis had a way of doing business, of some cruelty. So now we're going to talk about the particular skilled cruelty. Um, the, 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 and I say, I, 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 I put up with this skilled cruelty in, in, in being spoken to in such a way, and then the act came. Now we're going to look at some skilled cruelty of the Nazis and then make some more parallels. Because, you know, this whole thing pisses me off, and, and I'm in search here for accountability. It's left me with a real bad taste in my mouth and a, a bit of PTSD. I got a lot of nervousness that, that I'm not used to. I'm a hyper guy, but this is unsettling. So let's come in here and see how the hell the Nazis did it. So we, we're, now we're at the physical abuse stage. Uh, as I said, uh, let's go up here. As I say, it's done through skilled laborers uh, who I found these people to be particularly skilled. And incidentally, let me say this. These are people, well, before we get to the, the nitty gritty, and my accusations, whom I found to be uh, skilled labor, I call them French coolie bullies. Now, it, now, I can't say this on a video or otherwise I could go to Club Fed. I can't say a federal charge because you, you can't make a threat of, of a criminal charge and I'm not threatening them with any physical violence. But what I'm saying is these people need to be held accountable. And it's not just in this case. I've seen it in other instances in South Beach here where, where and it's been Europeans who get away with horseshit in America because they can, because Americans are particularly acquiescent, we're particularly congenial, and we don't see a lot of these games coming. If they tried it in France, they'd be hip to it, I can guarantee you. And I have an article that I'll share with you in a minute where a waitress was reduced to tears uh, through beratement from a French uh, 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 restaurant manager where she was so berated, and his defense was, I'm French. Well, that's fine, but we don't tolerate that kind of harassment here. So what I'm saying is, if you have, uh, and we'll get into my, my solution, my quote unquote little pun on Nazi Germany, final solution to this little situation, it will be, these people have an A1H visa. And I'm saying, you know what? Spend your money, we're not talking about deporting you because that would be wrong, that would be like criminal charge. But, if you're gonna do this horseshit, you better learn the code of conduct that we as Americans feel is fundamental, and fundamental in the preservation of our human dignity and rights, which I say we did at the Colorado College, they do at the Air Force Academy, which is lying, cheating, stealing, and beating. So if you have a business ethics violation, then I think you need to have a, a little education in that, and I have a final solution for that in the conclusion of this. So let's get on and finish this thing up. We got these uh, Nazis uh, putting Jews in concentration camps, particu particularly sadistic group. So here's a bunch of Nazi, a bunch of Jew prisoners in a concentration camp, and there was a woman guard. She was a real son of a bitch. Um, she particularly, I told you the joke about her that wouldn't date the Nazi doctor because she felt that his compassion was ill placed. She was so sick, dude. Uh, she had this Alsatian dog, and. Uh, when we were kids come to me, we played freeze tag, right? So, so, so she had the prisoners line up and say, you have to remain completely still. And the dog was trained in such a fashion that if they moved, like freeze tag, you wouldn't be out. You'd have your nuts chopped by the damn dog. He was trained to go after their nut sack. So, so here you can see the images of the guard. And this was her uh, kicks. Uh, that she'd have this alsatian and she'd go for he'd go for the she'd go for the nutsack, and many prisoners were mauled to death, and of course once they were attacked they couldn't work so they'd go right to the gas chambers, so 
to her, this was normal behavior. To come to me now, I found the situation to be uh, untenable to myself, where where I had mentioned to 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 a to a, to a member of this organization in which I have have a civil suit that uh, that I felt uncomfortable to the degree that uh, that I was feeling a harassment and, 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 and as a result of that, it was a big deal. And it was such a big deal. I was like, why in the hell so much blowback? Well, because it was against their fundamental principles or procedures in taking care of business. Just like the Jew didn't talk back to the Nazi, they wouldn't have any of this. So, so this sort of thing uh, was a terrible, uh, inhumane way to treat a human being, but it was normal for them. And this gal, uh, took particular delight in choosing which Jew went to the gas chamber and which survived. And this is, again, in conclusion, a power trip. And, 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 and when you have this absolute power, they get on a power trip, and it's based on a, a degree of narcissism and, and, and no empathy. And when we see this, we can't have it, and I won't have it. So those are my experiences before we get to the resolve in the next segment. Thank you.